Welcome to the New Mexico Supreme Court Law Library. In this presentation, you will learn about the law library's many resources available to you. The law library was established in 1852 by the Territorial Legislative Assembly. At that time, it was housed in the Palace of the Governors. It moved to the Capitol Building in 1888 and remained there until that building burned down in 1892. In 1900, it was given space in the new Capitol Building, which is now the Baton Building. It has been in its current location since the courthouse was built in 1937. Some of the books in our collection still bear the markings of the Territorial Library. The Law Library is one of the original occupants of the historic Supreme Court building. This building was partially funded by the federal government's Depression Era Works Progress Administration. It was designed in the territorial revival style, reflecting the state's rich cultural heritage. The library is in the center of the Y-shaped building, just past the main entrance with the brass double doors on Don Gaspar. Our collection of approximately 400,000 volumes spans all three floors of this historic landmark. The overall design of the library's architecture has changed very little since it was first completed. One of the interesting features of this space are the floors are made from cork to minimize noise. The wooden doors are carved with the state seal on both the first and second floor doors. And the central part of the library offers many semi-private spaces called alcoves. Some of the most important materials in the library are the state's annotated statutes, court rules, bills, and constitutions dating back to 1848. These are the foundations of New Mexico law since it joined the United States and remain the core of our collection. Another important resource are our sizable collection of dictionaries and citation guides that are used by judges and their assistants in drafting opinions. These include the popular Black's Law Dictionaries, English and Spanish Language Dictionaries, and the most current edition of the Blue Book. For in-depth analysis of legal topics, researchers rely on our incredible collection of treatises. These books are available both in print and digitally through a subscription to the LexisNexis Digital Library and Gale's Making of Modern Law Legal Treatises from 1800 to 1926. Researchers are welcome to come to the building and search our legal databases here, or our staff can email a PDF to you if you request a specific article, court case, or pages of a book. Our staff are happy to help you locate sections of federal government publications, such as the Code of Federal Regulations or Federal Register. As the state judiciary's primary repository for case law, we have a large collection of federal, state, and even some tribal court decisions. Visitors to the building will delight in our rotating educational displays of books, posters, and even personal items that were owned by former justices of the Supreme Court. Last but not least, we have a selection of rare books and archives documenting the colonial and territorial legal heritage of both the Spanish and English traditions that influenced what would become the state of New Mexico. Our library website is conveniently located on the New Mexico Courts website under the Self-Help tab. The website includes information about our services, as well as links to other websites and libraries with legal information that may be useful in your research. A great way to discover the library's many holdings is to search through our online catalog. You can do a quick keyword search by typing in the box where it says eSearch. Then, if you'd like to narrow your search results, you can click on the arrow next to where it says Options Selected and choose from several options including format, exact phrases, years, language, material type, and others.
If you are unsure where to begin or are having trouble conducting research, our professional staff are experts at finding, evaluating, and sharing legal information, and our primary responsibility is to serve the needs of the state courts. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of the library's collections. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us by email, phone, or mail. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and look forward to hearing from you.